One hundred years between them, riding into roots, growing highland cattle, they're on rollers road. Against the moody backdrop, cloudy skies and snow capped mountains, traveling companions, face kite in water. At least they had a jack of eyes to feed, chilling winds be fogged with sleety rain. Busking, a term meaning street performers. Buskers have a few goals in mind. One is to express their art form to the world, and second is to make money out of what they are most passionate about. Another term for buskers means to make a showy or noisy appeal, to stand out as much as possible in order to gain an audience's attention. The art form of busking has remained embedded in European culture since the 1500s, during the Tudor era. Over time, busking grew and spread around the world throughout the centuries with people who work at circuses making an impact on busking in other continents such as North America by the late 1800s. Busking has always been a part of our cultural zeitgeist, and the people who busk clearly know this. Their devotion to the art form is still alive and well today. And today's story? A man named Andrew Stott, known as the Plucky Haggis, who busks in Milton Kings, who continues this tradition to this day. Here's the my comb, but that's all right till I get home. She's handsome, she's pretty, she's the belle of Belfast City. She's a Gordon one, two, three, three. Can you tell me who is she? Ah, but when he says he loves her, all the boys are fine for her. Knock at the door, ring the bell, blow my true love, are you well? Out she comes, white as snow, rings on her fingers, bells on her toes. Old Jenny Merce says that she'll die, she doesn't get the bell but the robe and I. Let the wind and the rain and the hail go high, let snow come a traveling through the sky. She's as sweet as apple pie, she'll get her own right by and by. Long story short, I was working in uh, drug research. I was made redundant in 2009, and into three years of that redundancy, not having work, I decided to learn guitar and um, started to make myself into a musician. And a few years on from that, I got involved with busking, uh, just to see how good I was, to see if people enjoyed what I did, and I liked it. When I was learning to play, I went to a lot of open mics, and I was terrible to start with. And there were some people, one or two people there, who did busking, and so I thought, why not try? And uh, what made it really interesting and uh, got me devoted to it was the engagement that I had with the people on the street. Uh, not every song went down well, but the songs that went down well, there was such lovely engagement. I, I, I had to do more of it. Very glad that laid him down or cut him till he cried out In his anger and his shame I am leaving, I am leaving Absolutely, I believe that um, there have been many inspired uh, by my charisma, if you like, on the street, my confidence, the ability to play and sing, etc. So there has been that. But there's also been parents who have been inspired for their own children who are learning to play. They'd like to do some busking. So they've asked questions and how did I do it? Where, what's the advice that I would give them? So that's been very encouraging too. I think devotion is something that evolves. It's not something you start and it's a bit like addiction, you know, you get passionate about it. And so my devotion is evolving and it's becoming more stronger and more pronounced. But will it continue? I don't know. It gets challenged occasionally when you have these interruptions or people's in your face. Um, and if, you, if nobody's appreciating you, you're not going to be able to carry on. So um, it, it, has, it sometimes gets questioned. Sometimes busking creates some tensions on the street, either between shopkeepers, other buskers, and occasionally some of them get right in your face to tell you. So that is a real difficult problem and, and can shake you.
I think primarily it's a devotion to the music itself, but alongside that, it's that symbiotic relationship that a busker has with the music and the people who are listening. It is absolutely, it's a bit like making a pie or something. There's a lot of ingredients go into it. And the more that uh, a person finds those ingredients in the, in the whole busking aspect, the more they're passionate and committed to it. I think the biggest moment for me was when I was uh, playing and emceeing, hosting some of the stage at Towersy Festival. And then someone came and asked me if I would perform and emcee the Greenpeace stage at Glastonbury 2020 uh, on their 50th year celebration. And of course, COVID came and took that away. There have been other moments where I've been engaged for uh, private parties and uh, some pub events that have come because they've seen me busking. So I'm still waiting, I think is the answer. So regarding the luxurious life, I guess I have um, committed myself so much to music that I've given that idea of a luxurious life up. Unless I'm suddenly discovered by some producer who wants to take me on or manager and manage my business, I think I've given that up. I don't, I've never really held to riches overall. So living an impoverished but happy life is much more important to me, I guess. Certainly, yeah, I mean, first of all, Thank you for supporting me, especially during these last two years where I've had very little other means of income at all. So the support locally that I've had, Bedford, Bletchley, Northamptonshire, has been absolutely fabulous. And I would encourage the new generation of music lovers to engage with all people who are performing and writing new music, live music, and uh, supporting more local music, uh, that would be just fabulous. Uh, make our jobs a lot more worthwhile and enjoyable. Thank you. Buskers continue to thrive, even with all the difficulties that they face every day. They remain to captivate an audience and bring joy to a community or across the nation. A group of artists that are highly dedicated to their craft and the people that support their endeavors. Even with all the challenges restricting them even more, they are still committed to bring some joy to the streets around the world. And in this lo local area of Milton Kings, the Plucky Hackers still continues to do so. Anywhere, anywhere alone, anywhere alone.